Hey everybody, so first I washed my face, and then I put my moisturizer all over my face. Then I apply my Vaseline on my lips. And I'm gonna start with my eyebrows because that's the most important part of your face. Take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in Dark Brown and my flat angle brush I got from Ulta a long time ago. And I'm just going to outline the brow shape I already have. So I start out with the top and then I'm gonna outline the bottom. Also, I fill in my brows with the same dip brow. So it just kind of looks like this. Uh, yeah. My eyebrows look a little crooked or they're a little different. But you know, your eyebrows are sisters and not twins. So you just take your pomade and just fill in the brows to kind of make them look a little similar. Then I'm gonna take my MAC concealer in NW 45, 35, and then I'm gonna take my LA Girl concealer in the color Espresso, and I'm gonna mix them both because my MAC concealer is a little light and my Espresso is not light enough, so I just mix them. And I outline underneath my eyebrow just to clean up my eyebrows. I don't do the top because I don't know, I just don't do the top, but I only do the bottom to clean up my flyaways and all that. Y'all, I haven't got my eyebrows waxed since mm, June, so that's a long time. So you gotta clean it up. And then I kinda, after you line it out, then you just kinda need to blend underneath the eyebrow so it won't look too sharp. Just blend your concealer into your skin. Looking pretty good, uh-huh, uh-huh. So then I'm gonna take my little brush that broke. It was a brush, and I kinda like to blend out my eyebrows uh, just to give them that little light and natural look and not too defined. Yeah, don't judge me. So then I'm gonna take my MAC Studio Fix Moisturizer Tint, and the color is Deep Brown, and my flat foundation brush from ELF, excuse me, put the moisture tint on the back of my hand and just blend it on my face. I like to pat it on my face because it makes the moisturizer or foundation look really good and smooth, and it kinda kinda like seeks in your skin. I think that makes sense. But yeah, just keep putting it all over. This is really light. I normally use BB cream, but I ran out and I've been having this for a long time. I wanna get rid of it, so I've just been using this. I really like it though. Y'all see that finish? It looks pretty smooth. So next I take my Sephora brand eyeliner, the felt tip, because it's so much easier to wing, and I always do a wing liner. Then I take my same LA Girl Espresso Concealer and I conceal all my dark spots. Since I'm not using foundation, I don't have that coverage. So I need to conceal every part of my skin that looks a different color, every pimple, even my mustache. Then I take my Benefit, it's, ooh, excuse me, Benefit, they're real. Mascara and I mascara my lashes and my bottom lashes. I love this mascara so much. I'm gonna take my flat foundation brush and my Cover FX contour kit, and the color is in deep. And first, I take number one, which is a highlight, and I just highlight under my eyes, my nose, uh, my forehead, right above my lips, and my chin. There we go. I do a little dance, make a little love, get down tonight. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Then I take my number two, which is actually like a highlight with glitter in it, and I just do it underneath my eyebrows because I love some glitter, and it's really pretty. You might can't tell in this video, but in person, it's really pretty. Then I take number three, and I go right above the brow, the jaw. Excuse me. 
what is a bra? <laughs> right above the jaw. I'm gonna take number four and I do the jawline. Not the jawline, what the heck? Like the cheekbone, what am I talking about? And yeah, look like a little tribal girl, but it's cute. Then I take that same foundation brush from earlier and I blend it all in. This would actually be better with a beauty blender, but I don't have one. So yeah, gotta use what we got. Blend, blend, blend. I like it. Ooh. Then I take my old, old, old MAC Studio Fix powder. This is my winter color, so it's broken up. It doesn't even have writing on it anymore. I've been having it for so long. I just powder all over my face because I want that matte finish. This was helps actually set the, um, what is that called? The concealer I just put all over my face. In the contour kit, it sets it and makes it look more like foundation. Then I take my blush and my MAC blush in Raisin, which I love. And I blush some cheeks out, honey. Yes, blush them cheeks. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Then I take my Black Radiance pressing powder, and the color is Rich Mahogany. I think it was the darkest color they had. And I use that as my contour. So I just contour my cheekbones. I'm not done. Then I take my blush brush again, and my next blush is Sweet as Cocoa from MAC. It has a little glitter in it. If you don't know, I like glitter. And I just shimmer over my cheeks a little bit more. And I take my highlighting brush and my e.l.f. highlight. I don't know the color of this. I think they only had one, to be honest. But um, yeah, just highlight right above my blush. Mm hmm. Come through. Can I take my brush and then I just powder it all in my face to make sure it looks right? Oop. Then I take my mahogany lip liner from MAC and I just line my lips out because I decided to wear this pinkish color today. My color of choice is Anastasia Beverly Hills Dusty, oh excuse me, I really want Dusty Rose. Sorry, this is trust issues. It's the liquid to matte, so it comes on liquidy, but it dries up real matte-like. After that, I take my concealer brush, and whatever leftover concealer I have, I just conceal around my lipstick to make sure it looks defined. And I am done. Oh, let me go lay my edges down. Edges on fleek. <laughs> Bye, guys. Peace.